Hi, I'm Ollie, and today I'm going to teach you how to get a sound like The Neighborhood, um, more of like a warped vinyl guitar sound using only stock plugins from Logic. So to get into it, I am using a Fender Mustang, and I'm directly putting that through my Focusrite interface and then to my MacBook. Um, I'll link videos below in the uh, description if you don't know how to uh, connect your guitar to your uh, computer through logic and everything but um yeah so basically i've just got a project up here and i've just got an empty audio track my guitar is to it this is the clean sound and i'm on the neck pickup by the way um i find this sound works best on single coil pickups um, but i'm sure you could use a humbucker so basically what we're going to start with um first is we're going to do a noise gate so let's go down to dynamics, noise gate. Now this is pretty much based on how you have your interface set up and how heavy you're playing, but I find that mine works best around here. Um, it's a short attack and a longer release. And you can adjust this based on what kind of sound your guitar has. But yeah, so that's, you can't tell a difference right now. But um, that just prevents all the noise um, in between when you're playing from going away. And then next, we're going to open up Logic's Amp Simulator. Amp Designer. There we go. And the preset we're going to go to is... What is it? Mini Tweed Combo. Alrighty. We're going to bring the mids up to around 8. Treble down around 5. Reverb can stay on, uh, tremolo can stay on. Turn this down a little. Alright, and then the gain, uh, based on your taste, you can turn it up however high you want, but I'm going to keep it right around here, between 7 and 8. And then the ribbon mic's fine. Again, preference, but yep. And then next, I'm just looking at my notes because I'm unorganized. Um, EQ. So this is a big part um, because this sound relies heavy on um, the mids, so we got to make sure we bring out the mids. So I'm actually going to start on a preset, should be down in EQ tools, and it's called Megaphone. So this is something we're looking at if you hear it now. It sounds like a megaphone. Um, kind of sounds like a phone, like a telephone as well. But basically, I'm just going to make this less extreme. So we're still going to want to shelf down, um, shelf off the low end and some of the high end. I'm just going to turn this on down here so we can actually see the waves. I'm just making sure some of that low ends there. And so you're just going to want to play around and see how everything is. So I'm thinking right here is good. Um, again, you can um, shelve more or less based on what pickups you're using, if you have more low end, more high end. Okay, and then next on my list is compression. So I'm just going to go dynamics, compressor, and you can use um, any of these really, but I think I'm going to go with the Studio FET. Hi, sorry about that. I realized it was really annoying to play the guitar and talk at the same time, so I just recorded the guitar part here. Um, but these are the settings I'm using for the compressor, threshold, in between here about, ratio 3, um, fast attack, slow release, all that kind of stuff. You can just copy that into it. And then next on the list is going to be um, optional, but I'm going to show you it anyways because I think it makes it sound better. Now this isn't a stock plugin which is why um, it's optional, but um, it is free, so I will link it in the description. It's called Isotope Vinyl. And this just makes, um, has some EQ down here. Uh, they're based on years, but it, it's a really nice, it has a really nice uh, 
warp feature that I like, which you'll see. So put that around 40, and then we're going to go to 1960, and then we're going to put a little bit of wear, just a little bit. Alright, so... So you can hear the difference. So yeah, so that's why I say it's optional because it's not a stock plugin, but it's free. I, I really recommend it, so I'm just going to keep it in the mix for right now, but um, yeah. And then after that, we have Echo. So you could do a tape delay. Um, I'm just going to use regular Echo. 1 8 we're going to keep it around 50. Bring the wet low, maybe. What did, what did I write down? 20, okay. 20 so you can hear that we'll bring color down a little bit and you know no we'll keep that we'll keep that around there I was wrong yeah so that's just putting a little 1 8 echo on there and then after the echo we are gonna have reverb I'm gonna use silver verb um, simply for the fact that it has um, modulation. Um, I'm not sure if any other stock plugins in Logic have uh, modulation options, but I know Silververb does, so that's what we're going to do. And we're just going to go down here to this preset called Modulated Space, and we're just going to adjust it. I'm going to boost up the room size, boost up the mix. So as you can see, I just boosted up the room size, um, the mix, and if you wanted to, you could change the modular intensity. I'm going to keep it where it's at, though. So that sounds good. And then after the reverb, we are going to do a scan vibrato down here. The scanner vibrato, I think this is a really cool plugin um, under modulation. It's like a little uh, chorus vibrato um, kind of dealio, but... Um, it does some stereo effects. This track's on mono, so you won't hear it, but, um, yeah. So we're just gonna do pan modular, and I'm gonna keep it the way it is, but... Let me change this, just so you can hear it. Yeah, so it gives it cool, like, um, stereo, uh, panning effect, and a little bit of chorus. So I like that. Um, instead of trying to put like a tremolo kind of pan and, and a chorus, um, I think just putting the one together is nice. And then last but not least, we're just going to do another EQ to clean it up, make sure there's no weird frequencies from the reverb. So I'm just going to shelf off low end and the high end. Alright, and then this is our final one, and then I will bypass everything, we'll listen to the original, and then we'll listen to this, and then I'm going to insert a little sample track at the end to what it would sound like within a mix um, that might sound like the neighborhood. So yeah, let's see. So as you can see, um, it sounds more like uh, The Neighborhood, probably off of their Wiped Out album, um, and possibly um, a few of their, their EP songs. Um, so I hope you enjoyed watching this. Uh, I really like this guitar sound. You can play around with the severity of the reverb and uh, distortion and everything. But yeah, thanks for watching. Comment below if um, this helped you out at all. I will include... The link's in the description for Isotope Vinyl. It's free, Mac and um, PC. And then I will include links for um, how to use your audio interface and plugging in your guitar and all that jazz. 
So yeah, stay tuned after this to see how it sounds in a mix, and thank you for watching. Yes. <laughs>